Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Equity, we wanted, you know, like you and DJ Envy, y'all, y'all, and, and Miss Jess, y'all have power. You know, we all hip hop, we all love the culture. You know, why shouldn't y'all have a piece of that company? And we want to give y'all, submit a piece of your company, sit down with our lawyers, we can make that happen. You know, and all the other uh, young brothers and sisters out there that's doing well for themselves, that have some influence, we want to bring them in too. Mm -hmm. and go and we get attacked the venture capital. You know, then we could do an IPO eventually, you know, and then everyone can eat and we have our culture back, mm -hmm. you know. And that's what I want, I want everybody to understand culture, our call. That jacket I give you, let me see that right quick. Hip hop fraternity jacket, mm -hmm. velocity jacket. But it says something on it that's very important. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the people can see that. The culture, our call. Our culture, our call. Wow, man, check it, man. Hey, man, listen, guys, man, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, Boss Talk 101, man, uh, been, you know, kicking and clicking for a minute. Um, just make sure you guys uh, share the, share our channel, let people know what we got going on. But, man, it's something I wanted to speak on, man. I had to check it, man. Uh, <clears throat> my boy, Pimpin' Ken, man, he owned the Breakfast Club and actually, man, spoke to him a little early. Just so excited for him, you know, going on the Breakfast Club and, and, and everything he's been doing. He's been working his butt off, you know. A lot of people don't understand what Pimpin' Ken is and what he does for the culture. You know, he had, you know, of course, uh, early he came up getting shot, going to prison, becoming a pimp, all these different things, the elements. But a lot of times we don't like to look to the other side of the cloud and, and see the sunshine, see the light peeking through the cloud. Pimpin' Ken uh, has, you know, he created Hip Hop Fraternity, him and Ice-T. I actually went out to New Jersey, interviewed Ice-T, and, and to be real with you, man, just what he's doing now, bringing all the hip hop uh, culture together, you know, rocking out with all these youngsters that's trying to get, afford opportunity. Uh, really not even just sign them, but the, the unity and the togetherness is what I think a lot of times people miss. That's the element that Pippi Ken brings to the game. You gotta respect it, man, because at the end of the day, man, He's turned a new leaf when it come down to helping our people come together. And he expressed that here to Charlemagne. He also, you know, showed what the jacket uh, pretty much expressed in culture when you look at it. So, you know, you can definitely go on Breakfast Club and watch the whole interview, man, because it's slamming the whole thing, man. Just the way he presented the culture and hip hop fraternity. That's my guy. You see him on Boss Talk 101 a lot. He's, uh, he's one of those guys that I really, really respect when it come down to what I do. And when I called, he came, you know, and been knowing him for many, many years. That's what people don't understand. It started before Boss Talk 101. I'm an older cat. He's a little older than I am. But at the end of the day, we've always seen each other in lock fist because, you know, we represented something that pretty much we knew the culture, you know, would definitely may at some point need us to step into position because, to be honest with you, we was the ones in the streets. I was in the streets. So at the end of the day, to be able to come at this level and be able to help people from a Boss Talk 101 standpoint, man, that's that's priceless, bro. So at the end of the day, love what Pimpin' Ken did over there on uh, the uh, Breakfast Club. Love what he do anyway. Like like I said, from Ugly Money, Be High, you know, seeing him over there on Be High, seeing him over there on Big Facts. He's always, outside of just my show, he opened himself up for culture. He opened himself up for community. He always would come out and do different things with the community and with the people. So at the end of the day, I got a lot of love, a lot of respect for Ken. Ken knows that already. Matter of fact, we'll text, talk early in the morning. He one of those guys that I just always look at and respect. He's going to be on a lot of different shows coming up, man. A lot of those clo close shows. I'm at my boy, Big Court, holding court. Uh, all type of people, man, uh, linking in with him. No jumper, them links in with him. Uh, sharp out there. So, just love what he's doing, man. We gotta give give our give him his roses, man, while he's here. And at the end of the day, a lot of times our black people, we our people have a problem doing that. But at the end of the day, no matter what level he's on, I know a lot of times people be like, man, he did this or he was that or what, man. This guy here, man, like I said turned a new leaf, man. You wouldn't even know it. 
His, he's vamping and revamping these kids. I got time show after show where he brought multiple different people on the show, showing them love, showing them, they, putting them on shows, man. Uh, I see he had my boy Mike Fresh out there with him too. You know, he had, his, of course he had his VP, uh, uh, definitely a corporation there. And, and I forgot his name. Don't be mad at me, dude. I met you at, in New Jersey, man. Love you guys, man. But at any rate, he told him a lot of different things about how he's, doing and what he's doing with the different things that he's dealing with right now. So I thought that was fabulous. And like I said, you can't beat what he's doing, man. He also shouted out Boss Talk 101, man. I gotta play that little clip cause he, he definitely shouted us out. I gotta acknowledge that. I, was, I made him at your uh, event, you know, Mr. Hope, you know, he, he, he give us a lot of game. Man, Valentino give me a lot of game. Big Silk give me a lot of game. They just teach me about, you know, a whole nother level of getting money, mm -hmm. you know? So we just get money, Tony, Mercedes, and, oh yeah, my man. Uh, I I I do a show, Boss Talk. He said thank thank you for oh, uh, yeah. always mentioning him. So oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, and then you know I'm, I'm on uh I'm doing podcasts. I'm with Trigger Alert with Ugly mm -hmm. Money. You That's know, right. I'm I, I'm a co-host on that. You know, you do a I lot. Need, I need to do something with you too, man. I want to bring my show over to y'all. Black Effect, man. Okay. And no, don't try to be no hoe, because he don't pimp no more. <laughs> yeah, but, but, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's who Ken is, man. He shout out Boss Talk 101. He shout out Valentino, which are all these my partners. And he's he just that type of guy. Like, he's not going to leave nothing unturned. He's going to always come with the real. He reminded Jess Solaris. Like I said, she did uh, shout out Boss Talk 101 uh, back when, when everything. We had some a few videos go viral. But the thing is, man, just I love the way he handled his business up there on Breakfast Club. And then Charlemagne, man. I'm a big Charlemagne fan. You know, shout out to Envy, DJ Envy as well. But just hilarious, you already know, like you show us love. But the thing is, man, Charlemagne, man, that's that dude there. He live, all the way live. I've been defending him to the end. A lot of people come and try to fight the old Charlemagne, but I always try to show him to evolutionize Charlemagne. And at the end of the day, he's he's turned a new leaf itself. And whether you want to admit it or not, you know, he's doing a lot of things different than what he used to do when the show first started. And that's just people evolving, people getting older, uh, people, you know, learning uh, mental illness, mental health is being implemented. These guys are doing things to try to make themselves better as men and women. And I think that's so extraordinary when you see people that don't mind evolving, that don't care what nobody say, they're going to continue to move forward, man. As y'all already know, like I said, Ice-T, uh, Pimp and Ken, uh, this is a, a knitted circle, man. Uh, my boy Big Court, Holding Court, like, there's some core people that I rock with, man, and it's crazy. It's real talk, no pill talk. Uh, it's a lot of different ones, man. Um, it's just crazy, man. Like I said, that I rock with everybody, man, who pretty much decides to rock with me. Sean Cotton, say cheese, man. Like, he be working. He out there getting to it. Love when I see him making his move. So, man, like I said, you guys got to make sure y'all stay tapped in the Boss Talk 101, man. Go check out that Pimp and Ken interview on uh, uh, Breakfast Club. Matt Hoffa. All he didn't play. He be he be getting to it, man, for the culture, man, and for our people that look like us, man. And I just gotta give him his kudos. Like I said, thank you so much for shouting Boss Talk 101 out. Um, I know we're gonna continue to work together. Y'all see him coming back soon, but it's going down, man. You can't forget about the culture when you're doing this stuff, man. We love everybody, man. It's been another great segment, type cat. Boss Talk 101, man. Check it out. We out. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.